You have entered the Chronix rabbit hole, and Michael C, thank you so much for your Patreon membership request and for bringing back down the band Vector. We are continuing on this amazing album that you started us on, and the second song on this album is called Cygnus Terminal, with some lyrics. Thank you so much, Michael C, for bringing back, to, back down the rabbit hole and for giving us a lyric video. I can't wait to get into it. Michael C, thank you so much for giving us some context for this album itself and for the song that is coming up. Since we're doing the whole album, let's try to all understand the story moving forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. I'll give you some context on the story so far as well. Thanks, Michael. In Charge in the Void, we join our unnamed protagonist as he's been exiled to die in deep space, sent on a ship designed to carry him to nowhere and become his tomb. Terrifying. He sees a blinding flash of light and overrides his autopilot to check it out. And it happens to be in the El Shane system, which is a star, as you learned. When he gets there, he finds a strange and miraculous particle, which holds the key to controlling time and gaining everlasting life. Oh, oh my God, God, we're going out there. Here we go. With new purpose, our hero sets forth back home, taking his cargo of miracle particles with him. This is sweet. Now in Cygnus Terminal, our hero arrives home. This is where we're at now. Cygnus, the swan, is a region of our galaxy around three to five kilo parsecs, roughly clockwise about the galactic center from us. The constellation Cygnus can be seen in that direction in the northern hemisphere in summer and autumn. Cygnus is also the name of our hero's society, star, nation, whatever you want to call it. We learned that he was formerly a politician or governor of some sort, and that for whatever failure, he was exiled. Oh, wow, that's Ooh. a big time fail. He comes back to plead his case and ask for another chance with a miracle particle and the inability to kill him as bargaining chips. Wow, this is a cool story. They agree to give him another chance and task him with gaining control of the planet Ypsilon, which Cygnus has been having trouble with. And it turns out, the hero might not be the best term for our main character, as he is apparently willing to be a tyrant if it serves his purpose. Interesting. Gorgeous! I love that write-up. Thank this. you. And we have landed home. Bing! Oh, nice. So Terminal Redux is the album. Good pace already. Oh, I love this band. It just got heavier and heavier and heavier. Oh. And it just starts spinning like the beehive of everything working. It's getting tyrannical, yeah. y'all. I'm just also, in the last Ooh. minute and 48 seconds, 
I literally, while I was listening to this and how they progressed through it, and we'll get into the lyrics, but I was just thinking, I'm like, could you imagine uh, like an HBO series with this write up as like the screenplay? Oh, totally, but Vector, right? This whole album is this music behind everything that's happening. And it's, it's a just, space epic. It's a space epic, and it's amazing. Yeah. And like, this is the, like literally the greatest story plot line that you could really have. It's an incredible story it's incredible. and it's really enhancing the music in a different way than I thought it was. I didn't yeah. think it could even help it even more because I loved the first song and now this one's just, I even like it more. But here we go. That's just a sick intro as well. Oh my God, those riffs. Just kept building and building. Through the past, the whole is dead Taking in the whole blue machine Growing grass, but still attached Coaching on the sickness domain Woo! Beacon light, within my sight The terminal is glowing in space Zero for the three, but not for me I'm prepared to be my case Like the moon is silent Consumed by a roar Oh, oh, I love this. I was turning in justice. I set up the car. A balance in the wheels was my job. you did this because there was a lyric that came in that almost made the screen look a little boggy and i was like no i'm just seeing things but then now that i've seen them go to black here i'm like no i bet that moment happened and i'm gonna look back to see this moment and it started when it was saying like you must have lost your mind yeah so it was playing tricks on you it, right it, within it yeah and so cool. y'all y'all know how much i love my guitarist and I obviously like seeing the ball go in the in the net, but I want to see the shot and the ball go into the net the most because I love the appreciation of watching someone doing this type of work. I would love to see the whole band, but yeah. to see this guitarist switching up with all these incredible, really difficult Very riffs, technical. technical riffs, and just the tempo of it, I would love yeah. to see. And that's that's also why it's so enchanting for me. 
yeah, this is insane. And I really love because we already knew going into this. I'm sorry that we're, this is a bit of a longer pause, but I knew going into this that um, there was going to be like, well, like, why can't you die? Why hasn't this happened? And what all the questions were. And then seeing this and it's like ISO subject five, like that's not his, that's not the name, but that's now the classification of what he is as what a prisoner, became. what he's become. Yeah. It's like, what do you mean? This isn't your name. You must have gone insane. But like, it just makes me think when you become a prisoner or like, sentenced to death row you become a number iso subject five how they what do you gaslight dehumanize. they dehumanize you and gaslight you if they're saying you must have lost too. your mind because this is your name but yeah. also you've been gone 13 years but you only aged two yeah no where have you been your ship was damaged on takeoff right that's this image the yeah. ship was damaged on takeoff no how did you survive no kidding how are you here <laughs> okay here we go oh, cool. here we go she loves her cinema, folks. I love cinema. I love stories, and this is the perfect story. It is. How dare you, Michael C., almost not let us see this whole album, and you were going to yes. give us the beginning and then the end. Or he maybe you're tricking us. us, and you're telling <laughs> us, because you knew we were going to love this. Okay. Oh, you ready, honey? I'm ready. Okay. We're sorry for the big pause. We're going to let it go to the end here. You must have lost your mind. Why are we just kill you now and put this on the rest? Y'all, dang, jeez, 
He went tyrannical there. And I loved it, because I'm not, I'm not getting affected from it. So it just, look, this, this chaos is kind of what I needed right now, and it was incredible. And it wasn't just straight chaos. It was orderly as well. It was pure it, order. Yeah. It was pure. But, like, Connie, like, the explosive mo more than chaotic. Absolutely, then. It was It was extremely explosive, because it was just, like, putting hair on the chest, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Like, holy shit. Man, this was so good. I absolutely loved it. There was that riff that he was doing where, um, and it was repeating constantly, but then he would go, yeah. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I know and that then one. And that part was repeating. <laughs> yeah, and that yeah. was what was get getting you into the, like. There was a bunch of those ones. There was a bunch of them. But oh my God, that moment was so insane for me because that was when he was really talk like laying down his law at the very end. Nice. But it was also repeated from the beginning. So it was that full bookend moment for me that I really like. Yeah, yeah. And um, when he was saying, his like his orders that was what i was meaning by pure order unadulterated order exactly as he says it his way that yeah. was like it was almost it was terrifying but it was also like satisfactory he's like i've arrived i'm back. well it's what you guys wanted because now that i've came back and i have these yes. things you want me to beat the thing that you haven't been able to beat yet and if it happens we gotta do it this way exactly it's like and here we go and you can't kill me because i now control time bye yeah <laughs> no kidding. right so it was so this is so amazing i love the singer yeah the, yeah. the singer's incredible and he reminds me of a, a lot of incredible death metal mm -hmm. singers um and this band itself feels like a blend of like between the barrier to me i know you've never heard them yet and death and these are some bands that you got to hear because if you like this style, yes. oh my God, we got to see some of the giants as well because I'm. It's too bad that Vector didn't get bigger where I could have heard them and go and see these guys perform. Like this is one of these bands that I need to go see live. I yeah, absolutely. I would love to see this band live because watching the technicalities of what they're doing on stage would be just so. Um, jaw dropping it would be such an experience to be able to be in that moment with them because they are pure true professionals at their craft and i almost think they're disband now or at least there's a lot of bands that have been coming down the rabbit hole that have been disbanded now so if they're not disbanded it'd be great to see That'd them be live. Awesome. and this whole album's incredible and thanks for that incredible write-up to get us right into the story too mm -hmm. i know how much that enhanced it for you and i knew you were taking control of the story so i just got to really enjoy the music there and i just loved it so michael c thank you so much for this request we can't wait to see what song number three is on this amazing album and if y'all had a good time and have not gone and supported vector yet please go to their channel and give them some love all right we're now using the rabble folks Thank you so much, Michael C., for bringing this down the rabbit hole. I love Vector, and I always... Something that I absolutely love about this band is their name is Vector. And if you guys don't know, that's a mathematical term that means magnitude and velocity. Oh. And not only is this a sci-fi musical story and epic, it is also being performed with magnitude and velocity. I'm so excited for this, and I can't wait to see what else comes down the rabbit hole. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care, and bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the very end of the video. And if you have not yet done this, here's an easy way to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to subscribe to the artists that you just heard, here's an easy way to do that as well. And if you are also interested in finding a video that you might like, just click here. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care. Bye for now.